hello guys so today i just solved the d running miles code force is around 870 d2 d question and it has a rating of 1700 so i will explain this question and we will discuss the solution and the approach of which i through which i solve this question so basically question is asking like uh, you have given that array like array means like these are the points i will take example now in place of this one it will be 5 1 4 3 and uh, sorry it's 2 and it's 2 and it is 3 so now it is asking that uh, you are, like that person is traveling mm, the person name is I forgot the name of that person Mm, and it's you can yeah that's us they are saying that us that we are just traveling and we need to choose like at least three points like at least three points in which there will be three sides three sides means three elements the, they are meaning will be like three elements they are meaning the asking of question is like asking they are the meaning of three elements in that uh, range so basically uh, what we in this question is asking in our uh, yeah l to r range sorry l to r range in which we need to choose such a three elements such a three elements through which the value of b1 plus b2 b3 minus r minus l will be maximum this is the condition we need to find out how much maximum value we can get from this array these are the three elements b1 b2 b3 which will be always be in, in this one always always will in, in this one so now uh, first try by yourself uh, in first approach i thought some different approach uh, so there were wrong two wrongs in that approach but later i got that uh, my approach was wrong and after some time i got that new approach but it, it, it has taken some time to solve me this question. So try by yourself. And after that, you can see these tags. It is brute force, deep and greedy question. So think like that way. So now I will explain some observations. So see, I, I have written here B1 plus B2, B2 plus B3, plus B3 minus R minus L. So now in this thing, these three elements are in these three elements are from uh, this range l to r right so for getting this thing to be maximum this condition that these these three should be having maximum like this this you should you should try to increase these things and you should try to decrease this thing this thing so firstly you will try to increase this thing as usual and you will uh, along that you will try to decrease this thing so now let's think some approach first thing that suppose there is uh, when you write on some code the like sorry uh, on rub paper that you will observe that suppose there is b1 here is b2 and suppose here is b3 these are the three main numbers which will give the maximum sum then what will be the r and l value you will choose which will give the minimum value because in the array these are the like this is the array totally like there will be array so we need to choose such a l and r in which in which uh, in which we need to make that uh, r minus l to be smaller we need to make r to be uh, r minus l to be smaller so for that reason what we will do we will think like if you take any l so at the end you will come that you will get to know that choosing l and r will be the end points of b1 and b3 so if you choose this and this value this will be the only optimal minimum value you will get for these three values so at the end we, we get to know that this l and r will be the on that indices of this b1 means like the starting and the ending of b3 b2 will be the in between them 
so you will be in th through this you will get that the minimum value of r minus l if you choose r here then there is no any valid point because this will decrease your total value so this is the this is the main observation which i thought later so now now in this question why they are asking dp because there are multiple multiple possibilities like suppose um, 5142 so there are multiple uh, like approach uh, sorry options you can take like you can choose to take 5 inside or you can choose to take 1 inside or you can ignore 4 or you can take 4 or you can ignore here like similar you can ignore 1 or you can take 5 you can ign ignore 4 or oh, sorry ignore 5 and take 5 so there are multiple options you can choose but at the end you know that i will change the color of this one so at the end you know that 1 2 3 uh, i will mention 1 2 4 3 4 2 3 4 at the end you know that whichever index you will take if you it, if, if that element you are considering first means like that is the first position what you will do i will write the b1 plus b b1 plus b2 plus b3 minus r minus l when you solve this question you will get to know that b1 plus b2 b3 equals to minus r plus l means you will get to know that from this equation that if you choose first indices of in that three elements then you will add that indices of that position means like l means that starting position in that summation and if you choose the last element like suppose if you choose this one and this four also then this index you will add as a negative in your answer so this is the next observation that if you choose like this last element so in that in that you will add that last elements index as a negative in that summation totally so for this you can go as a recursively recursively 4 3 2 in which you will sometime you will take 5 and so here we need to count we need to make one variable count in which we will uh, count how many uh, numbers we are right now taken into consideration and along that we will see that if the count we have not taken any count like there are two condition like if we have taken count any of elements previously then there are two two chances whether you you, you will include this one or whether you will uh, not include if it is it is equals to zero then there are two possibilities you will not include this one or you will go if you take this one then there are chances that you need to add that indices also and you need to add that phi also indices plus phi if it is count is not equals to zero but suppose count is suppose one then there are two chances you can take you will you will not take or you will take so in this one what will happen if you take then just you will add the value and you will go but if it is count equals to if previous count is already equals to two means already you have taken two elements then in that condition there are like there are two chances like you will take this one element or you will not take this uh, you will not take this element or you will take if you take then you need to add phi but along with that you need to add the indices in negative form to that summation and you need to break this one because you have already taken three uh, numbers in your consideration now i will go through my code once mm. you can check my this two codes also it's similar code but mostly you will go on accepted one so now it is dp question basically because we need to track this one deep uh, count and those things so in this question what i did i have taken input and just called max value uh, starting from zero as called by vector and zero the the what to say count initially count of at the ith position this is my dp which i have stored now if count is 3 means like right now the numbers are getting like all the three numbers are calculated in the answer then we will return zero otherwise if the answer if i means like the i is uh, uh, count is not equals to 3 and uh, we are getting out of uh, indexes of array then we will return any value which will be not uh, not interfere with that answer means we, we will not consider that answer for that reason i am just writing int mean now what i will do i will check if at this indices 
if already pre calculated value like there are many chances that suppose 1 2 3 4 dp why why use dp mostly because we need to we we try to avoid same calculation multiple times so we pre compute that value and we store in this dp form by which we will not able we will reduce our time so now suppose in 5 what will happen uh, suppose 5 we have taken consideration 1 then there are toss possibility that we can take 4s2 and we will go again now here suppose we have not considered now what will happen suppose we have taken 1 as 1 uh, as means like 1 as first in, in indices and there are possibility that we will take 2 as uh, again second indices and we need to calculate again of above now what will happen we need to take 2 as a one first column element then there are chances that we will take 4 as our second element so this is just a simple example to explain why we are using dp in this form now here only three element these three elements are using four three times right so to avoid such multiple calculations we use dp so here i am using this thing that for this indices how many counts like if already that four the indices is suppose three and already that count like for this indices we called three and already this value is already calculated then we will return that value because already we defined that negative so we will return otherwise we, what we will check we will check that uh, firstly what i did i am just moving forward that i am not taking this value i am not taking this value in our consideration i am just moving to the next number in first step now in the second step what i am doing i am taking this value like take or non take concept like here is take and non take concept 5 1 4 3 2 there are two concept i said take or not take these are the two two choices you have only not take these are the two choices you have so first cho first choice is not take so i am not taking any input just like any input means this this value this uh, this element and second condition i am taking the value in our consideration in that i am checking two condition if there is no any previous counted value like there is no any value we have taken in our array or like in our that range then i will add that indices if i have taken then i will add as it zero but i will add that value as usual but suppose if we have taken already two values previously then in that condition i need to add negative of indices and i need to consider this value also so in that condition i am just returning the negative value plus that value also and i am just moving forward suppose here is two value it will be added as negative value why i also plus vi plus it will go again and this count will be 3 now when it will come here it will be like if count equals to 3 it will return 0 means this loop will be end and now it will just calculate it will store that value with respect to dpi count answer and this was the answer for this question uh if you have any doubt you can comment below and you can join on follow me on uh, instagram also i will add my link in description and i will add the answer link in description also uh, i if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel there will be uh, now in next week or couple of a week there will be many uh, many people will join with, with my team and uh, we will try to explain more and more concepts and more, we will try to solve more and more questions uh, hopefully next 5 6 days i will be not available or to because i have some exams uh, and that's for today thank you